Hello world, in this Python tutorial, I will teach you how to create a Python program that will secure your passwords. And basically, you can make it like super strong, but I have a basic version of a password secure over here. So basically, whatever password you input, a weak password, like let's say any random password, my name is China, and uh, you put in that password, so it'll convert that into a strong password so that people can't guess, that hackers can't hack into. So that's the program that we created. And I'm going to show you how to create it. And we don't use any modules. So what we're going to do is first let me show you how it works. So if I run this program, basically, as you can see here, it's saying enter your weak password. So let's write for our weak password, Shubham, or anything. Let's write Apple, right? You can, let's just write Shubham is out which is a basic it's just random it's not like i picked anything from anywhere and i click it and i click enter and it basically converts the a to at at the rates and it converts s to dollars and that's just one example if i oh sorry if i run it again so this time we write apple so it'll convert the a to an at the rate so it's it just makes your passwords more strong or stronger and now for the last example if i type in uh, Python is amazing, right? If that's my password and I click enter, it's going to turn it into such a strong password. It's going to turn the O's into zeros, uh, a S into a dollar sign, I's into ones, and so many other things. So that's why this is super cool. So I'm going to be teaching you how to make it, okay? So if you want the source code, you can just pause the video right now and copy down the code. As always, the source code will be in the description. Okay, so let's start off with writing the program. So what we're gonna do is let's create a new file in any folder of your code editor. If you don't have a code editor, you can install one from going to Visual Studio Code. You can search it, and you wanna click on this link right here, Visual Studio Code, Code Editing Redefined. And from here, it's gonna show you a bunch of options. So what you wanna do is you just wanna download from there, okay? Now, once you're done with that, uh, you're gonna go back to your code editor, and we're gonna create a new file Let's name this uh, Python practice.py. And now, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, do a, like we always do in these programming on YouTube videos, uh, the source code on the left and the way I'll teach you and explain all the code on the right. So let's start. So I'm just going to make the code a little bit bigger. So, first of all, we're going to write a function, def. Let me just make the size smaller so that it's easier for me to write the code. Uh, and you guys can follow along. So this is just what the code is. All right, so we're going to start off with the def. And you see this line here? We can put that in later. For now, we are just going to write the functions, and we'll do that later. I'll teach you how to do it. Password. Secure password, which is the name of the function. Password. All right. Pass word and now what we want it to do here is for a and b i'll explain all the code just uh, stay with me in secure we'll define secure later so it's going to show an error right now so don't worry about that password is equal to password dot replace and now inside here you're gonna write a comma space b and now you want to return password return password and now you're gonna go here and you're gonna write an if statement so if underscore underscore name is equal to two equal to signs and then you're gonna write underscore underscore main underscore underscore and you are now going to write password is equal to input. So what do we want the user to input? Uh, for what we want to display for the input is enter your current password. And uh, we can put dots it's just to make it look a little bit more sophisticated or civilized. <laughs> Let's just make it look like a good program. And now we're going to write password is equal to secure password 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 print 
and then we're gonna write F, and then after that you wanna write uh, uh, the secure version of your password. You can put uh, the strings like you probably know already, can be customizable, so you can just change it to whatever you want. So the, the secure version, the secure version of your password is, and you wanna put a hyphen, and then you're gonna start curly brackets and end curly brackets, and inside this you wanna write pass word. Okay, and enter. So now the last thing we have to do in the program is define secure. So I'm just gonna close the functions for now, like to make them smaller. Actually, you know what? Never mind. We'll just do it like that to make it easier for you guys. And on the third line, we're gonna write secure is equal to. So now, uh, let me show you guys something. If I run this program right now, it's going to say, okay, so it's giving us an error. So let's check what this error is. Okay, so first, what we have to do here is put a space here. Just trying to be very precise because as you probably know, Python is very sensitive. Any small thing that goes wrong, it's not gonna let your program run. Anyways, leaving that, First, let's start off by writing this. Okay, so we're going to start a uh, quote, single quotes, and you're gonna write S, and outside, uh, by the way, we open two brackets for now, okay? And you're gonna put comma, space, and then you're gonna write quotes, and you're gonna write a dollar sign. So basically, let me explain. So you see this line up here, secure? In here, we're basically defining that if the, per if the user inputs S in their password, then what you need to do is turn that S into a dollar sign. And you can make like so many of these, like it can be infinite, right? You can write T as anything. So what you wanna do here is you just wanna keep on defining as whatever you want. So I personally like these names so like this and and I want and to be the at sign, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the and sign. So you just keep on uh, making stuff like this and defining whatever you want. And I think the most important one out of these, which is the most common passwords, is gonna be A. Also make sure your syntax doesn't go correct. Syntax basically your grammar for programming. Uh, make sure it doesn't go incorrect because this is a very, you know, precise program and some small errors can cause a cascade of failures, okay? And uh, now, for the last one, we're gonna put O. Sorry, we need brackets first. And we're gonna put uh, O. Um, space, and, and sorry, uh, it wrote zero, we need to put O, and we want it to change into zero, zero. Okay, so, according to me, right now, if you run this program, it should work. It's just a couple of spaces, and, okay, so, according to me, the program should work, and now another thing I want to mention in the program is, as you can see, I wrote this program, right? Now, let's say you, you want to create your own programs without tutorials. Like, when I was starting out programming, I had these problems. So I want to help you guys with it. When you want to create a program, there's multiple ways. First, is you go to Stack Overflow, W3School, online, and you copy the code, paste it, check it out. That's not what we want to do, right? We want to understand the code. So using these tutorials, you can understand the code. And then after that, you can try to create more advanced versions and more more basically better versions of the program so now if we run the python practice program run without debugging it's gonna say enter your current password so let's write uh apple uh is out right and we click enter and then it's gonna say the secure version of your password is apple is out with much more security like turns the o into a zero sign and s into a dollar sign a into an at the rate so it's basically making a much secure password so it gave us this we we inputted this and it gave us a much more secure version of that so guys thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe to the programming in the mind youtube channel because we have so many more tutorials coming up and it's really amazing we have python tutorials javascript tutorials html tutorials so yeah just make sure to subscribe comment down below if you have any problems they will be answered to immediately the source code is in the description. Bye.